The age at which a young person can be held fully responsible for committing a crime varies widely across different countries. In a monumental change to the legal system, the Scottish Government is now raising the age of criminal responsibility from age 8 to a minimum of 12. The decision to introduce this new legislation was based heavily on evidence from the Edinburgh study of youth transitions in crime. The study showed that keeping young people out of the formal justice system was an important and effective way to reduce crime and improve the longer term outcomes for young people. My name is Susan McVie. I'm a professor at the University of Edinburgh's School of Law and co-director of the Edinburgh Study of Youth Transitions and Crime along with my colleague Professor Leslie McCara. For over 20 years, our study has followed the lives of 4,300 young people who started secondary school in Edinburgh in 1998. I pretty much got into trouble from very young primary school right up until it was getting in trouble the police or the police knew who I was, put in cells even at the age of 11. Our study found that young people who had contact with the justice system had a high likelihood of continuing to offend. Crucially, we found that the earlier a young person had formal justice system contact, the more damaging it was to their future. One of the main conclusions from the Edinburgh study was that young people who offend should be kept out of the formal justice system for as long as possible and diverted into more effective welfare-based interventions. In 2016, the Scottish Government set up an expert advisory group to reconsider the age of criminal responsibility. This group drew heavily on the findings of the Edinburgh study and in 2017 it recommended raising the minimum age from 8 to 12. The change in age of criminal responsibility from age 8 to 12 may seem like a very small step but is actually a massive change and it's the culmination of a journey that began in the 1960s with the publication of the Kilbrandon Report which set the framework for the current Scottish juvenile justice system. We were asked to do a bit of a review of the way the system was currently operating, its deficits, the shifts, the changes, um, and we found the Edinburgh study profoundly important in our own work, our own thinking. Certainly in my draft writing of the report, I relied on it immensely. The effect of these changes have been that since 2006, on an annual basis, there have been 23,000 fewer young people under the age of 21 being convicted in the Scottish courts. 14,000 fewer children being referred on offence grounds to juvenile justice and 3,000 fewer young people under the age of 21 in custody. That is a massive change and that is something that Susan and I are extremely proud of. I think the Edinburgh study is one of the most influential pieces of research um, into youth justice that, that I can remember in Scotland. It has significantly influenced my work in so many ways when it comes to young people in trouble. <laughs>